started using the solo maps when we were doing inquiry, and now I've progressed on to using it in other subjects. And behind me, you can see where we've used it in maths. We did some challenges, and we were working out financial games, and to be able to get some depth in it, we started off with our defined map, and we worked our way through all the different maps through finally till we got to the evaluate map and came out with our evaluations of the games. I've also done it in measurement strand this term where we used Google SketchUp to do 3D designs for a new classroom block for our school. The final outcome was doing an evaluate map and we had to do an evaluation statement from that map and then they had to assess themselves using the rubric. Here's an example of one of the evaluations. In many ways, I think our design met the criteria. Mr. Ason told us that we had made quite a standard design, that we'd thought about what we need to have to make a successful classroom. However, our group did not think about the ground levels. We forgot to measure the ground to find out how we would need to build the new room 13. We wouldn't want the classroom to slant slightly to the left or right, causing the desks to slide. That was definitely something I would keep in mind if we were to do it again. Overall, I think we designed a fairly successful classroom. We applied our knowledge of what we need to have in a classroom. We thought about what needs to happen, the changes, in order to fit the teacher's needs. In future, we would need to change a few things, but it was definitely quite a good design. And this is where she placed herself. I think that I am relational because I made a small generalization I talked a little bit about feedback, but that's just about it. I think I'm going into the next stage, but I'm not there yet.